Welcome back to another edition of the Pitch, Putt, and Puff podcast. My name is Roger, a.k.a. RGB. Appreciate everybody tuning in here tonight. Uh, before we get cooking, we're going to give a quick shout-out to some sponsors. First, we got FN3P. Make sure you guys go check out FN3P.co. Uh, go check them out. they got a great sale going on right now. They've got 30% off for a fall discount. Go and check them out. Uh, you can use promo code PPP uh, on there. Let them know the Pitch, Putt, and Puff crew sent you. Bunch of different sale options going on, going on over at fn3p.co. Also, go check out Four located at 740 Hoosick Road in Troy, New York, right up in the Walmart Plaza. Stop in there, check them out. Let them know the Pitch Pot Puff Crew sent you. They got everything you're looking for, flour, pre-roll, edibles, tank, tinctures, vapes, you name it, they got it. Uh, if you're looking for some edibles or some vapes, make sure you check out Jaunty. The blueberry lemonade gummies, they got the uh, mango sunrise, the watermelon. Go check those out in the edibles. And then the cartridge size of things and the um the all-in-one disposables. They got the, the green apple, uh, the banana, and the strawberry. All fire. Go check them out. Available at 420 Bliss. Check them out, 420-bliss.com. Also in the app store at just a little higher. Uh, make sure you're looking at the 420 location. If you're on the app, you can set up the delivery or pre-order right online. Uh, then we got my man Jordan over at the putter shop. Go check him out. He's got some great deals on some putters. A bunch of different options over there. Uh, use promo code PPPP for piece 15 to get yourself 15% off. Just came out with a bunch of new hats, some fire ones. I wore the other, the stroke it hat the other night. I have right here. No, it's my jointy hat, but uh, yeah, go check out Jordan over at the putter shop. Promo code PPPP 15. And then we got to go over to trouble off the tee. My man Marty, go check out the book first and foremost. Uh, Marty Midian is the author and narrated by Jake Adams from Country Club Adjacent. You can find the book on Spotify and on Audible, but go to the website right now. He's got 50% off site-wide. The whole entire site is 50% off. Usually it's on the polos with your promo code PUFF, but not not just on the polos, the hats. He's got a couple new options on the hats with the Zen model. Uh, new new polos are out. Go check out troubleofthetea.com. And while you're over there, make sure you check out the book. Uh, Going to have a little fun episode tonight with the Broke Boys Golf. I'm uh, going to chop it up with the boys here in just a few minutes. <laughs> Welcome back to the Pitch Puff, Puff Podcast. Gonna introduce you guys tonight to the Broke Boys. We got Sammy Flatsticks and Al, Al Pachuto. Did I say it right? Al Pachuto, yes, sir. All right, what's up, boys? So I came across your page and uh, noticed that we have a lot of things in common with the golf and the, and the cannabis thing. So I figured, why not get you boys on here and uh, see what you're doing out there in the West Coast? But first, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into golf? Yeah, man, I've been playing golf since uh, I was 12. Played in high school a little bit, and then kind of fell off, didn't play for a while. Um, but, you know, kind of fell in love with it again a couple of years ago, and then I've just been kind of going strong. And then we started Broke Boys, and, you know, the rest is history. I think Alex has only played for a year. Yeah, I hopped okay. on later, so I denied it for years. These fools tried to get me to go play. I was like, nah. First time out there, we're smoking, chilling, and I just fell in love with it. You I'm not like, even Yo, this is I still go out there all the time. <laughs> golf, for, golf for the old heads. I used to be the same way. Like, I'm not I'm going to play ball, man. I ain't going to play golf or something. That's how I feel. That's for the old heads, and then all of a sudden you're an old changing. head. It's changing. It's, it's changing, crazy. Yeah, for sure. But, I mean, you're out there, you're smoking, and you hit that one good shot, and then you're like, damn, I'm addicted. I'm addicted. Bad. <laughs> yep. And that's all it takes, too. And, it's, and it's, it can go both ways. Like, you could be so bad that you want to get good that you're going to continue to go out there. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Or you had, like you said, you had that one good shot. And you're like, oh, that's I want to do that again. And you're chasing it like a high. You basically just keep going back. I mean, it there. really is. Yeah. It's sick. That's sick. what happened to me. I'm a, I'm a lefty baseball player, and I had no lefty golf club. So I taught myself to golf right-handed. So the first, like, year was literally learning how to swing a club, like, somewhat the right way. I still don't yeah. do it right. I got the baseball grip and everything out, so. Me too. Same with him. It's tough. I tried but to going do it. Going from lefty to right is crazy. Yeah, it was uh, It was an experience, dude. My first few rounds were, were fucking brutal, to be honest oh, with you. It was, it was rough. Um, Everything was going, if I hit it, it was going right. Like, there was a lot of swing and missing. And, like, I switched hit a little bit in baseball, but not enough to be, like, good at it like maybe a handful of times in the two two years of varsity where i actually was allowed to do it but not to where i can go switch up my whole fucking golf game this is the only guy that i know that can hit 90 degrees sideways though (laughs) i've seen anybody do that if that didn't make me quit nothing will 
Right, right. That's yeah, that's for sure. I had one buddy, my buddy Mike. There's a a par three, uh, the thirteenth hole of our local course. There's a bridge, and me and Mike played started playing at the same time, and like we actually like this is one of the first times we actually went to like the eighteen hole course, and like we're like all right, we can do this and not like make fools of ourselves. So he fucking shanks one left over a bridge off a tree, and this dude sticks it like four feet. From the, it was it's probably to this day the, his best shot of his life. And he's like, where? <laughs> yeah, he had no idea where it went. We get up there, I'm like, yo, bro, that's literally like four feet away. He three pointed <laughs> it, but then the rest is history. Like, yep, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, and it's been like intertwined ever since because we met him and Brock started Broke Boys. We all worked together at a dispensary. That's how okay. we even met. Whatever kids and life went on, they linked back up to golf, and then I linked back in with it too. You know, it's crazy. It's I, say this, it's cr- I say this, there's three things, man, that bring all the people together all the time. It's golf, weed, and music. Those are three things that can bring people from all different walks of life together, no matter what. This is. You could be hanging out at a party, smoking a joint. You'll get some random heads walking over. Yo, mind if I hit that? Mind if I hit that? Shit like that. Yep. Same thing yeah. on a golf course. You get, you, up with, yeah, you get paired up with an old head. It's like, oh, all right. Let's go. And all of a sudden, you're smoking out there. You mind if I hit that? It happens all the time. Yeah. All yeah the time. men love it, too. They're always hyped when they see you smoking. <laughs> and so you think they're about to trip on you, and they're like, I like that. You're like, oh. Yeah, we mm-hmm. were out at uh, our local course, Downriver, and uh, we got paired with the Marshall. And we were, okay. like, sneaking off every couple of holes and smoking. And then we're Just like, going to. and this guy wouldn't leave me alone. He's like, dog, you got to get him to hit the puff coat. you got to get him to hit the puff coat. <laughs> and then he's like, all of a sudden, he gets the gold man to smoke the puff coat. And he loved it. Oh, he's the like, guy has no idea what a dab is. And he took a fat old dab. It was was that in your, is that on the IG page, like the one you guys got pinned on? Yeah. 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 So that's that's okay. one of our viral ones. Yeah, that one popped up. But now, I you think- know. That, that's that the video course. I seen. That's the original video I seen with you guys. Was oh, yeah, that's, that's yeah. Alex. Yeah, Alex and yeah. Marshall Tim. Yeah, and that's the, honestly the smokiest course in Spokane. Literally, like <laughs> the, the cart girls smoke there. We give them dabs. Yeah, it's the crazy. people in the restaurant smoke there. The freaking Marshall. But yeah, it's it's sick to fucking find people that uh, are like minded. <laughs> Absolutely, because like especially like here in New York, we were just talking before recording. Like, it's just really starting to get accepted. Like, legalization's yeah. probably been two and a half, almost three years now. But the people you see going into the dispensaries aren't the, the guys like us. It's it's the older people going to get edibles or going to get the gummies to help them sleep. Or, or, or people like, who didn't have a plug anymore. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> legit. And that's yeah. legit. What it, it's the college kids who are in here from out of town who don't know anybody and they're popping in because they don't know no better. Spending their parents' money so it doesn't matter anyway. You know? But that's that's we need a lot to make of a it. trip up there anyway. We do like consulting for like uh, dispensaries, trained butt tenders, stuff like that. New York would be a crazy market for that. And yeah, man. Make it next spring when I'm doing my uh, my pitch putt puff uh, golf tournament. Make it then. Oh, hundred percent. We'll be there, dude. Yeah, because I got I was gonna try to do it um, this year, but I only had like five weeks to really set it up, and I wasn't gonna be able to do what I wanted to do. You're like, I gotta um, do it right. Yeah, I could have pulled something off, but it would have been half ass and then next year no one would have showed up. But the more I have more connections now this year through the podcast and doing things the right way. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ride it out, plan it over the winter and hopefully by I'm thinking like June, end of May, early June doing something. I have when a course that's gonna let me shut down up. out there. What's that? When do the courses usually shut down? Um, so there'll be like a handful that stay open all year, but majority probably Damn. closed down November first. And then okay. you'll get you'll get some that run out until like the first snowfall. Yeah, it's about to be rough out here. Yeah, yeah. I think I think we got maybe like a month month and a half left in the Pacific Northwest, unfortunately. Same. That's where we're, we're looking six to eight weeks before we we shut down shop, and it, it sucks because yeah. then I run out of podcast shit to talk about. <laughs> We thugged it out last winter, though. It'd be snowing, and we'd go to the spot. They'd just stay open. you just push cars through the, fuck, through the snow. <laughs> yeah. 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 As long as there was an actual, like, thick snow on the course, then you're good. I yeah. think there was, like, maybe two weeks that we didn't play. The same with us. We played in Jan- end of January, middle of that, like, Valentine's Day after Valentine's Day. I think we got out and played. Um, but it sucks, though. It's still wet. Like, your ball's plugging. Oh, yeah. It's- oh, that's the worst, bro. That's how I learned. But what do you do, man? You're like, fuck, I need to be golfing. And the yeah, simulator, we, 
only cuts it so much, you know? It's just, I hate the simulators. I always feel like I'm going to hit the computer behind me and shit. It's yeah. the worst, bro. Yeah, it's probably a hot take for the golf community, but I honestly agree with you. I'm like, I can't do it. I can do it maybe once, twice during the winter, but that's about it. Yeah, we did a league a couple of years ago. Um, I had eight guys doing a league, and it sucked because I hit this ball. Like, my tee shots are low-line drive, so half the time the thing wouldn't read my ball. But at the same time, we were going to do nine holes. You got two hours to do it, and it doesn't – it nice. wouldn't even – like, we wouldn't even finish the nine holes after. Oh, yeah, no way. Yeah. And then it's, like, fucking $75, $80. And you're like, exactly. You're paying 100 <laughs> bucks a night to go out. This is than actual golf. It is. Yep. So what we do now is we go up there. They have like private rooms at the place up by us, and uh, we'll just rent out four of us to go rent the room for a couple hours, just driving range session. You want to work? Yeah. Hit, hit ten balls, hit ten balls, and we'll keep switching it out. And that way, everybody's getting swings in, and you're actually getting something productive out of it. Right. Yeah. 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 You can it's obviously... rough if you took that time off. Yeah, it is. It, like the the couple years ago, I didn't swing all winter, and then I came back and it was like I started over. Sure, yeah. yeah, I can't do it. I'm thankful I travel for work, so I stay going to California and Arizona. And, and golf is just different. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, this guy's the traveler. He gets to go all, all kinds of courses. That's Have dope. you golfed in New York? I haven't golfed in New York yet. I got to go golf in New York. Yeah, I'm upstate, so I'm Albany. I'm probably two and a half hours north of, like, New York City. Okay. Nice, nice. But I'm also, like, two hours from Boston, two hours from Syracuse. Like, I'm that middle point. I'd be tired to hit a fucking back and forth. I mean, that area is beautiful. It's not like the fall is really the nicest time of the year up here is the the fall. Yeah. For sure. So tell us a little bit about the page. Like, what's your guys' plans with the page? I see, obviously, some of the content you're putting up. But, like, originally when you got the page off the ground, what was your original thought process with it? Yeah, man. Uh, Honestly, like, we were just fucking around and posted a couple videos. And then, you know, we got a couple thousand likes on one. And then we're like, fuck it. You know, if we do anything in life, we kind of want to just play golf and get paid for it or, you know, make enough to where we can enjoy the luxury of, you know, playing golf, you know, different places and, you know, smoking weed and having a good time with the boys. Yep, so. Same thing. I get it, man, because, like, it's a thing, too, where you're getting to hang out with your friends and, and you're documenting what you're doing, too. So, like, yeah. you, can look, you can look back in 10 years. You're going to look back in 10 years and look at that video with the Marshall and be like, yo, remember that shit, dude? You yeah. guys are going to be having a test laughing your ass off, you know? Like, yeah, that's, that's the cool shit. We're going to be saying that's what started it and how many more Marshalls we've already smoked out since then. But yeah. really, too, him and Brock were grinding with it for, like, a good amount. Of, before, like, we even really pushed the weed stuff, they were grinding with golf content. And then I was just working at the dispensary the whole time still. So when I came, I got, like you said, I got 20 joints in the bag, and I'm just there just to smoke. Right. So just, the content kind of got smokier and smokier. And then <laughs> all of us started doing the Puffco thing, and we all were sharing a Puffco, all three of us. No one, like, right. They're expensive as hell. But so we just kept shouting it out, had the video, and somehow they just reached out, which was the craziest thing. Yeah. Because they're That's big. Dope. That's dope. Now, do you guys find, so, like, I have an issue with, like, shadow banning a little bit, and I get flagged for a lot of shit. Like, I don't know if I have someone that goes and, like, digs in. Like, I got flagged for something from, like, March, last October, like, crazy shit. And it's, like, because I have the golf ball, like, the logo you see in the corners has got a joint. So, I have, like, I changed my logo. It used to be, I don't know if I have it. It used to be this. With the golf ball smoking the joint. Oh, that's hard. I had to change it, though. That's stupid. Yeah, Instagram sucks with that, but fortunately... <laughs> I don't do it. <laughs> oh. Uh, fortunately... Man, man. We're good. Yeah, so I've been having that problem on Instagram, like getting the... Oh. Uh, the shit where you, like, oh, this video won't be monetized or whatever. I'm like, yo, there's not even anything on it. With the weed, too, like... For example, like these dudes, shout out Grindhouse too, they always keep it, they're like some of the best weed out here, but he had to change to just this type of logo, because Mm -hmm. he had a bear smoking a joint, and like wearing a chain, they say kept getting his uh, account blocked, because it's an animal doing a human act with smoking, that's why he had to get rid of it. Yeah, it's not the stupidest (laughs) thing, it's It's crazy. He's going to want to smoke because the golf ball is hitting a joint. 
Right, but then you see all these girls with their OnlyFans and shit. They're all up there. Oh, okay. Blasted all yeah. over. I'm like, yo, how am, how is that popping up on my feed constantly? When, oh, this, yeah. Like, this page is all golf. My other page, maybe, sure. But this page is all golf. It's like, yo, what the hell? Right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I definitely feel like we would probably have more traction if Instagram didn't do that. But, you know, it is what it is. Right. We got to just collab with as many people that we can that, you know, maybe don't have that kind of outreach and then, you know, we get on their page and maybe not smoke for one time and then, you know, get more people to our page. and Exactly. It's tough, man. It's a grind. It really is. It's like a second job, like building the Instagram up and getting the recognition. Like my, in my case, like setting up the interviews and doing all that shit, working it in the schedule. It's, it's a grind for sure, but it's been fun. Like last Christmas, for example. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Last Christmas, I had 140 followers on Instagram. I'm just up over 2,100 right now, but I actually like put the time into like interviewing people and interacting with social media. And it's authentic following. Yeah. And it's like, I don't have a lot of bot followers. I don't think I lose a lot of followers a lot too, but like most of the people like I have, I follow, I know, or that follow me, I know who the hell they are for the most part. Not necessarily the ones I follow, I don't know, but, like, your guys' page, I seen it. I was like, oh, this is pretty dope. I'm, they're doing the same shit we're doing. <laughs> right, Let me check yeah. it out. You know what I mean? Like, that's how it works. Well, it's just crazy. Like, that video, what, had, like, 300,000, and then we also have another video. It's probably almost at, like, a million, right? Yeah, we have another video that's, like, 800,000, I think. But, like, but, no following, which is the weirdest thing to me. So I don't know if it's, like, other pages posting our stuff and it goes off and gets views or what. But you'd think right. way more people would follow. Yeah, that probably ha- – I mean, that's a, that's a good thought, too, because I get a lot of shares, like, too. Like, I'll share it to, like, my one group, like, where there's a bunch of people who will all share stuff. But then, like, some of the videos will have, like, 30 shares. Other ones will have three, 400 shares. It's like, all right, is that views or is that shares? Because the yeah. video's only showing me 800 views. So is that 1,200 views on the video? Like, yeah. Oh, that's true. It's tough, man. It's a, it's a tough little, it's a tough struggle to figure out the damn social media side of this. Especially me. Like I told you, I'm in my 40s. I don't. When I was in like high school, bro, we had word processing. We were playing Oregon Trail and shit. Like we were. <laughs> yeah, oh, Oregon bad. Trail. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't doing coding and all that shit. <laughs> Fuck. So, uh, where did the name broke, bro? How'd you guys come up with the name? Uh, well, honestly, because we play golf so much, we're just... <laughs> <It's all laughs> I get it. <laughs> so it's, and our slogan is uh, going low or going broke. So it's either, you know, we figure something out, or we go broke, or we... I never understood okay. the name until I started <laughs> playing with them. I was like, oh, I get it. And then once you start playing golf, 60 bucks yeah, a pop, like, 60 bucks a pop. Yeah. Three times a week is not a uh, – four or more, more. Three or more times a week is uh, you know, a – Dozen golf playing. balls, 50 <laughs> bucks. Yep. Yeah, keep, so keep many going. Many balls. When I first started, I used to just break tees, and, like, I didn't give a shit. And now I'm – <laughs> Nothing like, like that. <laughs> yo, you hit that. You hit that pro V in the one in the woods. You're looking for a couple extra seconds. <laughs> we He's coming out with three or four. Yeah, that was seven dollars. I better find that bitch. Good job. Now, uh, uh, you guys plan on getting into any like merch and shit like that? Yeah, we've been trying to to do some merch. This guy has his own clothing line, so I've been trying to get him to collab with us and do right. trying to get golf gloves. Yeah, we got golf gloves coming out pretty soon. All right, so, yeah, that, we'll, we'll have some stuff coming out pretty soon. Nice, nice. That's dope. Yeah, man, it was cool. Like I said, I was I was doom scrolling on my Instagram. I seen you guys. I, I literally think it was the Marshall video was the first one I seen. And then I was Hell like, yeah. what the fuck are these guys doing? I'm like, oh, shit, they're doing basically what we're doing, just yeah, that's 2,000 nice. miles away. Oh, right, nice. especially just, like, so far away. But same thing. We could link anywhere and we'd all be chilling doing the same. The same thing. vibe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We'd, we'd be out there doing I could throw you guys. I got. I play with my man Fairway Mike. He's a retired truck driver. He's seven years old. I could throw you guys in a group with him and you'd have the time of your life. Like, it's just a, like oh, these gosh. dudes I play with are crazy. Like, we all vibe together. It's just a bunch of different. Like, that's what I was saying earlier with golf. So many different, ca- like, um, characters that we yeah. that have. Different it's personalities. Cool. It's crazy. And everybody gets along, and golf brings that together as well as cannabis, which is dope. Right. Which is dope. And it's so, a little more acceptable. Exactly, especially now with the legalization here in New York and shit. Right. But all right, so let me wrap this up with my, my three-question segment for you guys. Man. I'm going to mix it up, though, since the cannabis side is usually all golf. But um, we'll start with a golf one. What's your favorite club in your bag? 
lines of uh, the 54. What is okay. It? Yeah, he has a bulky 54. It's the only thing I could hit good. It only goes 90 degrees, like one out of 10 swing. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a 54 last week. I've only used it a handful of times. I got to get used Shout to it. Shout out our boy Brock who couldn't be here too. He gave it to me. It's so funny. I bought all these new clubs. The one he gave me is like my favorite club. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think when my driver works, my driver. But if not, probably probably my 54 too. Yeah. I got, I got a Cleveland Zipcore 54. That's probably my, my favorite. I actually do. That's the one I just got. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, what? I just got it. Literally, my buddy won it at a tournament, and he's like, yo, I don't need it. I'm like, well, I got a shitty 56, you know, pretty similar. I was like, let me try it out. He goes, here you go. Oh, hell it. yeah. I'm like, all right. So I used it today. I sculled one. I had a perfect drive. I was probably 100 yards out. I scull it right into the fucking bunker. I'm like, this club fucking sucks. And then like, <laughs> I got to go practice with it, though. I actually like just grabbed it out of the bag and don't know my distance with it and all that shit. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. yeah. It's tough. Mine, mine is my seven iron. If I seven iron and then my putter, um, I I got a really good like I don't three putt often, um, which saves me a lot of strokes. Like today, I was getting off the tee like shit, but I maybe three putt it twice and came in with an eighty five after you know not a great forty five on the front. So that last hole fucking killed me. Though I'm still pissed about eighteen. Yeah, the worst. Yeah, of course, to end on that too. Because I, I call I literally said on the 10th hole, I said, all right, I'm shooting a 40 on the back. I'm going to finish today with 85. So I called my shot, but I would have loved to do do a little bit better. You should have yeah. called the 80. I know. <laughs> should have. I should have. But, yeah, my 7-iron is my most consistent club in my bag where I know the distance. And I can do different – like, I can hit it low. I can hit it high if I need to get over a tree or something. It's my most versatile club as well. Um, all right, let's get into a cannabis question here. Curious to what you guys got out there in the West Coast. What's your favorite strain you ever smoked? Yikes, ever. Like, if you got that one, you could only smoke it. You're on an island. You got one to smoke the rest of the, your life. What are you smoking on? Yikes. I'm going to – I want to say OG, but I'm going to say do si if I had to just pick anything ever. do si All right. Damn, I would probably take – Khalifa Kush from 2013, 2014 era. Okay. See, bro, bo I've had Dosi though, but probably not the same, obviously, strand as you guys, but never had Khalifa out this way. Like some strains we haven't experienced on this side, on the East Coast. It'll all be coming too. And he's from Frisco, so he was around like when it was all popping. Oh, shit. Yeah, the, the best week. Only time ever. I've ever had it is Vegas, but not yeah. Vegas is no. kind of. We yeah. just got some like Cheech and Chong, Cheech and Chong strand out here about a month ago. Oh, okay. So nothing, nothing. It's not bad, but I mean nothing spectacular. Just give it watch in a year or two. It's gonna be, it'll be. Yeah. Yeah. The other I Cali think, brands yeah. we got out here, like from California, I know over like the heavy hitters. Um, oh yeah. We got heavy hitters, and then who's the other one that just came out? Oh shit. Damn. Cookies. Pretty, cookies. Cookies. Yeah, uh, yeah cookies. Backpack yeah. boys will probably be out there soon, too. Jungle boys. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting for is those guys to see what, what those are all about. Because, obviously, you know, you hear about it for so long, but can't get our fucking hands on any of it. Right. Yeah. I mean, the unfortunate thing, though, always is going to be that it has to be grown in your state. So, they basically go and they just pick growers and give them their genetics. So, you know, it's not like... It is legit them, but it's yeah, not. It's so right, it's that's amazing. what we're dealing with in Washington. So, you know, mm -hmm. it is like you get it here and then you get it in Cali from them who actually grow it. It's like different. but And it's been know, legal kinda, so long here. It's kind of like going back to where you want to get it from the dude on the street. Right. He actually cares and it's like small, like it's weird. <laughs> yeah, go back. They call it the legacy thing or side of it. Yeah. Like, it's been it legal here like 12 years. Yeah. But I mean... You know, when it gets more commercialized, they just people don't care as much, I guess. And they fuck it all up. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Everything. No doubt. Mine would be all batch. My favorite thing I ever got into was uh is always sour diesel. Sour diesel out here growing up was Yeah, fuck. well I mean you hey, guys have the at? real sour diesel. Yeah. That's why. You guys have the original. We had the OG. So I actually watched the doc on the dude who the original grower of sour. Yeah. And he it's crazy when he said this, but he's like, he, he had a plug up in Albany 
And I'm like, bro, like I'm 90% like sure. Like it had to be where I would like the sour I was getting back in like the early 2000s was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Like when you had it, you had to put it in a, in a bag, double wrap it up three, four times in a jar. Like you couldn't bring in this to the house when you're still living with mom and dad. Like, no yeah, you were burying this outside yeah. or putting it in a book bag or hiding under, or t you know, somewhere. But like, it was that bad, but like then it, it probably 2010, 2011, it just disappeared up here. Just boof, gone. Like I haven't got my hands on it in 10 years easily. Like yeah. a legit strain. Same thing with that. The yeah, the Khalifa yeah. Kush is just like the OG, but it's a certain cut of it. But when mm -hmm. I was getting it back then, it was just the craziest, frostiest weed you've ever seen and the dankest weed. And then now when you get it, it looks similar, but it's just not the same. It's not. Then we got a uh, gorilla glue popped up up here, and that's like a cross with sour and like I think super lemon haze or that's something. One of my favorites too, gorilla glue. And it's great. It's the closest we've had to sour diesel. Is gorilla glue four is the closest we've had to diesel. Damn, that's funny. We did just smoke a bowl of that too. I just threw the, the jar away then. <laughs> no shit. <joke. laughs> yeah, the glue is always. That's always a good string for sure. Yeah, do you find a good glue? Yeah, you're all yeah, it's got that, and it's got that lingering smell, same as sour. It's just got that lingering like stench to it, where it's you the know taste too. Yep. Yeah. So here's my favorite question: If you guys had a, so you're going out to play golf, and you need to have three people to round out your foursome, but it's also a session. Who are you putting in there? Damn. <laughs> I'll give you mine. I'll give you guys the time to think. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm a basketball guy growing up. I always liked Jason Williams. White Chocolate used to play for the Kings back in yeah. the Yeah. So, that was my guy. He's a golfer as well. So, uh, oh, I, I was still – Yeah, he started golfing. Like, you can go and, like, set request to play golf with him. And he can – like, yeah, down the floor. Oh, we go up with him. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you know, like, he would be sick. Um, so, he would be one. Method Man would be number two. How High, one of my favorite movies. I could recite the whole fucking movie over and over. And then I've been going back and forth on the on the third one. Like, should it be a golfer? Should it be, like, just someone to kick it with? And then uh, I was watching uh, It Is What It Is, the Cameron podcast. I'm a big Cameron fan growing up. So I, he had me laughing the other day. I was like, yo, this dude would be a fun dude to just kick it with and smoke with. So I throw Cam in there as well. That'd be a good little foursome, too. Damn, you gotta go. No, me? Damn. I don't know. I mean, I could... So just three other people besides me? Yeah. And they ain't even got to be good at golf. golf. It don't even matter sure if they golf. Daly. Oh, I got to yeah. fuck with John Daly for sure. Okay. Uh, damn, who else? I just had someone else in mind, too. Oh, I'm a huge Angels guy, unfortunately. I'm from, like, Anaheim area. So Mike Trout... He actually just built a course. It looks dope as hell. His own course. Um, the fucking angels, uh, man. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's it's a curse, bro. Cause I'm loyal, diehard to these fools my whole life. Yeah. <laughs> the worst right management ever. It's insane. Tough. Uh, and then I'd probably have to say, damn, I'm probably going Action Bronson. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That'd Man. be tight. Yeah, hell yeah. And That's so what, good... all these fools have to smoke? No. They don't even have to smoke. No, just people you John want to smoke. Like, we're forcing them to smoke. Yeah, could be anybody. Okay. So, oh, I'll we'll take... a good one. Who she say? My girl heard this and shout went out. Schoolboy Q would be a cool one to go off with. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Damn. I would probably go Jason Day. I would probably go John Daly. And I would probably go... Mac Miller. Oh, Ooh, Mac. yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one right there. Hell yeah, I got yo. I caught on to him like right before he passed, dude. Like, and I was like, so because I just started like really listening to his shit, and then he passed. I was like, damn, dude. I was like, so I got to just listen to the same shit over and over now. Yeah, I'm just getting into it. Yeah, they got to be that was like high school shit. Yeah, yeah he was. He Honestly, was dope. I thought he was gonna say that one dude, the Dod King. Actually, that'd be kind of fun, too. <laughs> Actually, I'd like to go with Big John. Big John's show. Who was it? Big John. I don't know if I know him. No, he's, he's uh, the DOD King's uh, caddy. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that guy, man. Those dudes are everywhere, bro. That's see, that's the job I want. I want to just like do that. Like, let's just do that. I don't even yeah. have to be like rich. Just let me <laughs> yeah, be that's able to eat, about. smoke, like, and go golf. I'm sure. Well, yeah, facts. That's it, bro. And half, I don't even think half these guys are as good as you see because you're probably only seeing their good shots and it's getting edited and shit. You know, they got the shanks just like everybody else. For oh, sure. yeah. And this dude's got the craziest drive you've ever seen, too. He destroys it when it goes good. Yeah. <laughs> Which good. is like yeah. only half the time. <laughs> but it's like dude. an extra 300 feet high, too, and far yards in the air and far. It's crazy. Yeah, man. My, so uh, just capture that, we're good. <laughs> I'm actually sponsored by Trouble Off the Tee, and it's for a reason, man. I cannot get my driver off the fucking tee. It's been a rough year with the driver. Beginning of the year, hit it better than I ever have. Fourth of July time, all of a sudden, I just started snap hooking left. Don't know what the fuck happened. Showed up the same way as I did every other time and been trying to fix it ever since, and I have it so fucked up right now trying to fix it. It's a mess. I hate it. Golf's a bitch, man. It's right answer. when you think you got it, she's like, nah, fuck nope. you. Take it right yeah, away from every, me. Uh, like, no. Nope. Just like I'm I'm at that point where I just kind of like plateaued to like the mid to low 80s. And I broke I broke 80 three or four times. And I'm like, all right, why can't I do this every day? Yeah. Yeah. When I you mean, said you played baseball, it's like imagine playing baseball and the next day you just forgot how to throw the ball. Yeah, that's what I feel <laughs> exactly, dude. Like it's it's wow. it's wild. And I play four or five times a week up here when it's nice out. So I'm out there as much as I can. Yes, you. It's crazy. Yeah. Yo, guys, I really appreciate you guys jumping on. Why don't you let uh, all the listeners know where they can find you? Yeah, uh, look for us on YouTube, uh, Broke Boys Golf, and then Instagram. And that's uh, basically what we got going on. But yeah, yeah man, like, look. follow, comment, subscribe. Same Same up. Last six, out for Shooter, and Brock Fretz and Gold. Sounds good. Appreciate your guys' time. And let me know when you guys get that merch drop, the gloves and stuff like that. And I'll, I'll definitely uh, put it up in the story and promote it for you. Facts. And we'll have to golf when we go to New York. Absolutely. Yo, I'm dead serious. If you guys, I'll give you guys the link when uh, when I set up the tournament. Definitely get a group out. I'll, hook you, I'll get a discount on a hotel for you the whole nine yards. I got some plugs out here. We'll hook you up. Hell yeah. All right, boys. Good talking to you. Nice to uh, you man. All right. Appreciate everybody tuning in. And we'll talk appreciate to you soon. You. All Later. right. Appreciate the broke boys jumping on. Hope the audio was good on this one. Had a little technical difficulties with it in the beginning. Uh, but before we get rolling out of here, take a second and give a shout out to our sponsors. We got FN3P. Make sure you guys go check out FN3P.co. Promo code PPP for 25% off. Go and check them out. He's got a great fall sale going on right now. Some items are 30 to 40% off. So go and check them out. FN3P.co. Bunch of uh, polos, hoodies, hats, you name it. He's got it over there, especially if you're looking for something in the golf world. Uh, also, 420 Bliss, go check them out, 420-bliss.com. You can check them out. You can pre-order. Uh, if you're looking for some flower, edible, tincture, vapes, you name it, they got it over there at 420 Bliss, 740 Who's It Road. If you need an edible or some vapes, check out Jaunty. They got some great gummies, the Blueberry Lemonade, the Mango Sunrise, as well as the Watermelon. Uh, go and check them out if you're looking for a vape. The all-in-one disposables, you can find those banana, the strawberry, and the green apple with a bunch of new flavors coming out here very soon. Uh, Trouble off the tea. Marty's got a sale right now, 50% off site-wide. 50% off site-wide with a new line of hoodies, new polos, some new hats out there. He's got the Zen-looking hat with the Trouble label on it. So go check out Trouble off the tea. While you're over there, make sure you check out the book, available on Audible and Spotify. Author's Marty Midian, narrated by Jake Adams from Country Club Adjacent. And then my man Jordan at the Putter Shop. Go check him out. He just also dropped a new line of hats and has great options and deals on some putters for you. Go check him out at the Putter Shop. Promo code PPP15 for 15% off. And if you need custom ball markers, he's the guy to go see. Just did some awesome ones for the Pitch Putt and Puff crew. And then always go check out 52sundays.co. Use promo code LGC. 15 for 15% 15 off, 52 Sundays. Sponsors of the um, Legends Golf Club and supporters of the Pitch Putt Puff. So go and check them out. Appreciate everybody tuning in to our episode here with the Broke Boys. We'll be back on Friday with a preview of the upcoming weekend of the Pitch Putt and Puff. Also going to be the tournament on Saturday. So looking forward to a big weekend of golf.